voice. So I don't know what what that's about. Happy birthday, Adam. Oh my God. Thank you, Lance. Day. I was yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Happy, happy belated. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so you're what, 29 now, uh, Adam? <laughs> Almost twice that now. <laughs> that's, that's your story and you're sticking to it. Huh? That's right. That's right. You have the shortest day of anybody's birthday. <laughs> my mother says it was the shortest day of the year, but the longest day of her life. <laughs> I like that. That's a good line. Huh? <laughs> and, and excuse me, I have um another dial in person. Could you please identify yourself? This is Trish at the border. Hi, Trish. This is Clint. Hi, Clint. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, may I ask uh, to you identify yourself? This is Trish. Hi, Trish. This is Bob Pizdrowski. I'll spell my name. It's P Y Z D R O W S K I. I am with Arrow, A R R O W. Thank you again, Bob. Thank you. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, do we have a clock? We have Commissioner Swaina. Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. Um, but we do not have Commissioner Cressy on, it seems. Is that correct? Here. Oh. He's here. I I've been here for a couple of minutes. Ah, I don't see you. Okay. Oh. And I have one other caller. Could you please identify yourself? Deborah Moss. Thank you, Deborah. I'm here. I'm here in the, the office at the board. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so um, I think we can begin if everyone else uh, is ready. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, we will call to order the regular board meeting of the Board of Election Commissioners for the City of Chicago. Good morning, my name is Maricel Hernandez. I'm the chair and with me via video uh, is uh, Commissioner William Cressy. Present. And Commissioner Jonathan Swain. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, next thing is the consideration of the agenda. Um, I uh, propose to uh, take out from the agenda for today items uh, 7B, 1, and 4. Is there any objection? No objection. No objection. Thank you. Okay, then we will proceed with the agenda at this point. The next item is the approval of the minutes of the regular board meeting of August 5th, 2020. Uh, is there a, a motion to approve? So move, Commissioner Swain. Second, is there a second? Second, Commissioner Cressy. It's been pro properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. 
Motion passes. The next item is the approval of the minutes of the regular board meeting of August 12, 2020. Uh, who has a motion uh, to approve? So moved by Commissioner Swain. Seconded and by sec Commissioner, seconded by Commissioner Cressy. Properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Okay, motion passes. Thank you very much. Next item is the executive director's report. Mr. Holliday, good morning. Madam Chair and fellow commissioners. Uh, well, uh, I have received six resumes for the position of assistant executive director. I'm having a little trouble hearing Charles, you, Charles. We're having trouble hearing you. You're on mute, Charles. No, he, he, the microphone is real low. Well, let me do this because I... I had my um, computer up so the uh, participants here in the room can hear me, but I would have to put in my earbuds and maybe you can hear me better then. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? We, we okay. got you. Yes, we got you, Much Charles. Better. Okay, so uh, as I was saying, I received six uh, resumes for the position of assistant executive director. Hope to set up the first round of interviews next week and the second round, if necessary, right after the first of the year. I have also received two re resumes for the position of finance manager. Uh, again, hope to set up the first round next week and if, if necessary, the second round after the first of the year. So we're currently reviewing contract procedures and all contracts. Uh, I have a draft procedures for initiating PSAs. It has been given to Opal Walls as well as Adam Lasker. I'm looking to have in place by the beginning of the year those procedures. Uh, working on billing practices, hoping to make more uniform. And we're still, I'm still assessing the need for contracts in 2021 since there's no election. I have conducted and am continuing to conduct debriefing meetings with all the managers and contractors regarding the November general election with an emphasis on possible legislation and improving the voting process. I am also considering an outreach effort to follow up, up in the wards which had low vote by mail turnout to see how we can make it more accessible for everyone. Uh, so sometime this week, we're planning to post uh, two positions for our IT department. Our finance department has filed the final CARES Act grant, the paperwork with the state. Uh, currently, the finance department staff, Jesus Ontiveros, is currently working on the CTCL grant, which is due December 31st, 2021. Uh, and assisting him is uh, Opal Walls. And so ends my report. Uh, well, and there's some other projects that uh, I will make mention at the uh, first board meeting in January that we're going to be working on uh, in the month of January. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any questions? If not, thank you, Mr. Holliday. Um, okay. I'd like to proceed with uh, Mr. Allen, Communications and Strategic Planning. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Good morning. We mentioned at the last meeting that we'd have some, we were trying to get some age based data. And as it turns out, it tracked very closely to the improvements that we saw at the 2018 midterm elections in terms of participation among younger voters. So the highest percentage turnouts continued to be older voters as a percentage of registrations, but the biggest blocks of ballots cast because of how many registrations they represent continued to be 25 to 34 year olds. And the growth in terms of ballots cast was led by 25 to 34 and 35 to 44 year olds. Uh, so it's a, it, it 
it's a little better it's a, in those younger groups in terms of comparing it to either 2018 or 2016. Uh, so I'll be getting that, those data to you uh, this week. Uh, we've been working with Mr. Holiday on various wrap-up items, uh, as he referenced, uh, continuing to make updates to the website uh, for the 2022 primary and then fielding media calls. So at this point, we're transitioning uh, information on various programs that I've worked on um, or managed, the website management, legal notices, pre-election and canvas mailings, forms, signage, and related specifications, news media inquiries, and then contingency plan slash continuity of operations plans, and lastly, some recommendations in terms of uh, moving forward, possible changes to the website uh, and or uh, related uh, reporting systems. So in uh, ramping up my time with the board, uh, it's been fascinating. The most interesting elections had to be those where the activity was the most intense. Uh, 2008, 2012, doing things like working with the U.S. State Department, because we had 300 international media visiting when our hometown candidate was on the ballot for president. Uh, we had the international media coverage of the 2011 residence hearing, as I, can, I know uh, the chairwoman can remember vividly. The uh, 2014 midterm super close election for Illinois State Treasurer. And in 2019, uh, a record review of 600,000 petition signatures, a uh, record-breaking field of 14 candidates for mayor, and a documentary, uh, a documentarian crew following every stage of the election. Uh, so for the first time since 2005, through flukes in the election calendar, there won't be elections in 2021 in Chicago, which I think is a good thing because uh, after the excitement of this year, I think it's going to give the uh, new executive director and the staff time to reevaluate several different possible projects ahead of 2022. With that, I'll take any questions you may have. Well, Jim, um, I, I just want to thank you for your service, for everything you uh did during the past 13 plus years um you you know you helped us tremendously and uh it's you know partially because of you that we're we received such good reviews and uh we have such a good reputation uh in the city of chicago and beyond so thank you for uh for everything um, and uh, it won't be the uh, last time uh, we, we talk, but uh, I just want to express my appreciation for everything uh, you've done. Well, thank you. It's been a really wonderful team to work with throughout the 14 years. Thanks. Well, uh, Jim, um, uh, I wasn't with you uh, the, the full 14 years, but uh, it's been a pleasure working with you, and I want to echo the sentiments from the chair. Uh, I'm just curious, considering the lead role you had in City So Real, are you going to get a, a page on IMDb now? Uh, that, that, that was not something I was looking for. Uh, that just kind of happened. Uh, well, if, but, you need, uh, if you need an agent, you know, give me a call. Thank you for that offer. <laughs> okay. Well, um, thank you. And now we'll proceed with the uh, old business, infrastructure projects, changes in election administration, uh, electronic votes and voting equipment. I'll lump, lump that all into one. Um, any, um, any updates there? Uh, no, Madam Chair. Um, all of the after the election projects on the equipment are in. Charles, we can't hear you again.
We got you. Okay, okay so again, my apologies because uh, the participants, when I'm not speaking, um, my computer is um, what they hear. So um, nothing, Madam Chair, um, at, at the election um, projects are in process for the e poll books and any um, maintenance on the uh, voting equipment is being done or has been scheduled to be done. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, next item is legislation. Mr. Lasker, nothing, I assume. Not at the moment, Madam Chair. I, I did have some conversations with folks at the State Board of Elections, and there is some anticipation of an omnibus election bill for the next session when it happens. Um, heard late last week from Senator Morrison's office that we'll reschedule our meeting for January. She still would like to meet with us, and so we will still discuss potential legislation with her, but they're not in session yet. So thank you. Thanks. Um, let's go to uh, the next item, which is new business and uh, approval of the Board of Election Commissioner's 2021 regular board meeting schedule. Um, does anybody have any comments? If not, is there a motion to approve the uh, 2021 schedule? So moved, Commissioner Cressy. Second. 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 Commissioner Swain. Probably moved and seconded. All those in favor, state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Okay, thank you. Now we'll proceed with the uh, professional services agreements, certain uh, ones. And the first one is uh, uh, Barb Goodman for uh, legal services. And uh, Barb uh, has for, boy, at, for at least the number of years that I've been a commissioner on this board, uh, she's been uh, one of the hearing officers and has assisted the board as needed. Um, in this case, um, we have a proposed agreement between the Board of Election Commissioners and Barbara Goodman um, uh, for uh, legal services in the event we do need, do need her at the rate of $210 per hour um, and the term is from January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Um, are there any comments, questions? If not, is there a motion to approve uh, the uh, agreement with Barbara Goodman? Um, I have one question or just really a clarification. Um, uh, Adam, uh, this is, uh, you know, as needed, uh, right? Uh, it's not like, 40 hours a week. This is as as required by the Office of the General Counsel, correct? That's correct. She, okay. She'll only bill if she's I, I, requested to do a project. Okay. I just I just wanted to get that on the record. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, so moved by Commissioner Cressy. Second by Commissioner Swain. All those in, it's probably properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Motion passes and the agreement is approved. The next uh, contract is, uh, let me just double check that, is with uh, Lance Goff. And Mr. Goff will uh, provide a general election administration consulting services as directed by the executive director of the board um, at the rate of $80 per hour for an amount not to exceed $100,000 over the term of this agreement, which is December 1st, 2020 through November 31st, 2021. Are there any questions? If not, is there a motion to approve the contract? So moved by Commissioner Swain. Seconded by Commissioner Cressy. Properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy gladly votes aye. Okay, and the agreement, uh, the motion passes and the agreement is approved. 
Next item is the professional services agreement between the Board of Election Commissioners and Deborah Moss to provide services to the board for compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act, the Help America Vote Act, and other election related needs. Um, Ms. Uh, Moss's rate uh, is uh, would be $70 per hour, not to exceed $127,167 over the term of this agreement, which is January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Are there any questions? Oh, well, yes. yeah, just one. Go ahead, Jonathan. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Adam, if you could speak to this, uh, you with us, I'll, I hope I just see your name. Um, you just give us in light of this time track kind of a sense of where we are with the uh, with the Justice Department law. Yes, of course. I, sorry, I turned off my video because I'm having some internet issues. I think the lower bandwidth helps. Uh, but Thank yes, you. I'm here. Kids might be the, playing game. That's what it is. <laughs> so the, it's very much an ongoing uh, process with the Department of Justice. We're having essentially weekly meetings with our connection at the Department of Justice, very frequent meetings with the Park District, the schools, other city agencies. Um, there's been some slowdown because of coronavirus uh, for both March and November elections. The Department of Justice chose to not send uh, surveyors out to the polling places for the election day surveys that it would normally be doing as a part of this, uh, this project. Um, so we do still have the target date of co uh, full compliance by November 2022 election, um, but there's still plenty of places to be surveyed. There are locations that are changing. There are locations that have identified as uh, not accessible that we've moved out of and trying to find new ones. And there's a lot of data analysis uh, left to be done on surveys conducted by the schools, the park districts, um, and so forth. So it's, it's very much an ongoing process. The Department of Justice remains quite pleased with how it's going because they understand that the recent delays we've had have been all because of coronavirus and impacts everybody. Uh, we're charging forward, but still lots to do. So if I'm hearing you correctly, this is something that's going to be all going during this off cycle of trying to make sure that we are compliant under that litigation. Is that right? Very much so. We're working on budgeting issues with the schools in the city and remedies now trying to, you know, make re repairs to bring places into accessibility compliance. And it's a lot of data analysis and a lot of meetings to work these things out. So Ms. Moss's assistance on this will be essential during this year. Okay, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? I, I just wanted to, and, and Adam touched on this, is that the um, Department of Justice continues to be pleased with us. And Adam, correct me if, we're, our, uh, if I'm wrong, but we're sort of being held up as best practices uh, for a, a major metropolitan area in this regard, correct? That, that is correct. Patrick Johnson, our, our contact, our, we're working with our Department of Justice has told us that at the national level, they're, they're watching everything we do trying to do the best they can to implement it in other large jurisdictions. Thank you. In which case, I, uh, Commissioner Cressy, so moves. Second. Second by Commissioner Swain. Okay, thank you. Properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. And the motion passes and the agreement is approved. Thank you very much. Um, we will now proceed to a legal report. Uh, Mr. Lasker. Well, I'm pleased to report that we don't really have a report at this time. <laughs> it, it was a smooth election, and uh, I know that the county of Cook is doing a recount as we speak. Glad that we're not involved. Yeah, great. Thank you. Um, we have no financial report. Uh, we do have public comments. Uh, Trish? I'm sorry. Uh, Ms. Applebaum of Arrow has requested to speak. Okay. Ms. Applebaum? Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I want to say that I am um, want to wish everybody, everybody involved with the Board of Elections a happy holiday season in this very difficult time. And next, I want to congratulate um, Charles on his promotion to Executive Director. It has been our honor 
really an honor to serve the Board of Elections for almost 20 years. And I will say this year stood out to be probably the most challenging of all. But with, with all of the people at the board that work on this and under the direction of um, Lance Goff as his last, as his last hurrah, I would say, um, it all worked. It all really, really worked. And it's just an opportunity to thank you for giving us that, that privilege to work with you and for us to give you the idea that um, we're so happy to be here with you. And happy holidays to everybody. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate um, everything Arrow has done uh, to uh, assist us in, in all of these elections. Um, uh, if it weren't for, for you, um, you know, it, it would be very, very, very difficult and challenging. So thank you uh, for assisting us. Is it possible? I did not sign up. Might I be able to say a few words? This is Helene from League of Women Voters of Chicago. Sure. And and after Helene, may I say a few words? Yes. Thank you. Helene? I just wanted to say a sincere thank you to Jim Allen. Uh, as a former professor, I would give him an A plus in communications. Uh, as long as I've been a board observer, He's been willing to answer my questions. Sometimes they're a little strange and uh, has been cooperative in working with other members of our organization, participating in meetings and Zooms and everything else. And I wish him the best as he leaves the board and know that he will continue to communicate well wherever he is. Thanks so much, Jim. Um, is there, oh, uh, we have Lance Goff. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I just have a cute, you know, it's hard to wait until public comments. I have to sit on my hands because, you know, you get a little antsy. But uh, first of all, I'd like to say that um, Jim Allen, thank you so much for everything that you've done over the years. I appreciate it more than you know. We've had we've had our ups and downs, but we've had a great run at it. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, wanted to let the board members know that I've been attending the debriefing that Mr. Holliday has had, and he's done an excellent job. These are probably the best debriefing meetings this agency has ever, ever had. With uh, even though with all the social distancing and with the Zoom and WebEx. It's done an excellent job. So I, I wanted to give Charles all the kudos in the world. And when you were talking about our accessibility program, um, we did get that award with the Justice Department, a joint award with the Justice Department equipped for equality in our agency. But I just want you to know that the EAC is still looking at uh, what we're doing. And they're saying out of best practices, for accessibility in the United States, we're going to be number one. So we've done an excellent job. And I just wanted to uh, give those comments to the board members so you know and put those on the record. Thank you. Thank you. May I make a comment? Uh, who's this? Katie oh. Magnus. Hi. Hi. OK, I just wanted to say on behalf of Reverend Jackson, I want to say a very special thank you to Jim Allen. I have called on him many more times than I should have with all kinds of mundane questions in some instances and difficult questions in others. But Reverend Jackson would say, uh, call the board, call Lance. And I'm like, well, Reverend, we can't call Lance every single time. I I'll call Jim and I'll get an answer for you, I promise. And thank you, Jim, for always having had an answer when I did not bother Mr. Golf. And I will certainly miss you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Helene. And I want you to both know that you can continue to call. Okay. Um, is there any other public comment? Okay, I hear none. Um, Mr. Lester, is there a new part of the session? Mr. Lester? Hello? Um, I don't know if anyone can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. 
my uh, internet is in and out today. I'm sorry. There's no need for executive session if that's what you've asked. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, if there uh, is, yes. I'm back. I'm sorry. I for some I don't know what's going on with my internet this morning. It usually works just fine. Um, well, you, pr you probably asked. Have, what, yeah. Sorry. No, I said luckily we don't have a need for executive session, as you said. That so. is correct. I, I do. If I may take one moment, I just want to also say thank you, Jim. It's been a pleasure to work with you. I've been flustered because of today because of these technical issues. Um, sorry, you can't see me waving goodbye, but it's been a real pleasure. I started my career in journalism, and I think that you. Uh, are a real impeccable uh, communications person with the media. You've done a great job. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Jim. Um, if there are there are no further comments, uh, there is, seems to be no further business before the board. Um, before I move for adjournment, I want to wish everyone a uh, happy holidays. And uh, I am also looking forward to the new year. Can't wait. Um, and so I hope everyone uh, stays safe and healthy. And we will see you uh, at our next meeting uh, in the beginning of uh, the new year. Uh, so with that, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved by Commissioner Cressy, and also with a wish of a happy, healthy holiday season to everyone. Second by Commissioner Swain. It's been properly moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. And with that, happy new year. Have a wonderful holiday. And this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Uh, Please stay safe, everybody. Thank you, you too. Yeah, it shows in the corner of my screen. That is, that is